हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो वी आर गोइंग टू बी स्टार्टिंग मॉड्यूल टू फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो ओके मॉड्यूल वन आई हैव कवर्ड ऑल ऑफ द कॉन्सेप्ट एज मच एज पॉसिबल फॉर यू गाइस विद विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द वीडियो सिलेबस प्रोवाइडेड ओके इट वाज नॉट दैट मच कॉम्प्लिकेटेड देर आर नो मच प्रॉब्लम हियर इन दिस मॉड्यूल ऑल्सो देर आर नो प्रॉब्लम दैट दे माइट बी आस्किंग ओके सो देर आर सम काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू द एर प्रोबेबिलिटीज विच आई गेस दे वोट बी आस्किंग दिस टाइम so but there are few derivations with respect to the digital modulation techniques okay so that that they might be asking in this module that i'm going to be covering all of them but the actual problems and all which were uh, very complicated and difficult would be starting from module 3 onwards okay so that also i'm going to be doing in a few days a few days of time so stay tuned for that until then we are going to be covering all the concepts related to module 2 okay so stay tuned guys i'm going to be doing a lot of videos from module 2 and uh, i guarantee you that you won't be getting regretting because uh, the all the concepts are very very easy and you would be understanding very easily okay so just follow whatever i tell in the video and uh, stay till the end guys don't skip any part of the video like this video and uh, subscribe to our channel okay so uh, let's start with the module the name of the module is digital modulation techniques okay so these modulation techniques whatever we are going to be studying in this module are, are uh, not new to you guys i guess you are familiar when you have, uh, whether you have studied if you have studied the subject uh, in the fourth sem that is uh, principles of communication systems in that these topics are already covered okay firstly i am going to be briefing you with some of the important digital modulation techniques which we are going to be using in this module just brushing up all all of these all of the concepts then we are going to be starting with the actual module okay firstly in modulation for a signal to be getting modulated we need to be having three main components okay where the three main components are called as m of t c of t and s of t okay so this is not new again i'm just brushing up whatever you have studied in the pcs subject where m of t is called as the message signal C of T is called as the carrier signal, and based on the output generated through this message and carrier signal, we will be getting the final signal S of T that is called as the output signal. Okay, but here we need to be knowing something that is M of T that is the message signal or the modulating signal has low frequency. Okay, so M of T which are the these signals are low frequency signals. Okay, with the which are periodic in nature but uh, the signals generated have are having low frequency than compared to the c of t whereas in case of c of t that is a carrier signal these signals are high frequency signals with periodic period with periodicity in them but the frequencies generated are in the wide range of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz okay so that's why this is called as the carrier signal and based on the variation which we are going to be seeing in the carrier signal we would be getting the final signal that is also called as the modulated signal or the output signal okay so yeah with respect to that we are having some more terms which you need to be knowing one is called as band pass filter okay that is also called as bpf so the band pass filters are mainly the purest form of the message signals okay so whatever the message signals which are getting generated in the input sides those are going to be converted into some set of frequency bands based on the high frequency and low frequency component in in mid in middle what is the constant range so that would be getting passed in the filter and that the type of filter which you are going to be using in the, those cases are called as band pass filter so that's why it is called as the purest form of message signal without any corrupted okay any no corrupted signals or no variation in frequencies which you are going to be seeing in that signal it is a constant frequency signal so that's why they are getting passed through this band pass filters okay so one more important concept which you need to be knowing that is called as ask that is amplitude shift keying with respect to amplitude modulation okay what is ask amplitude shift key the full form it varies the amplitude and frequency and phase is kept constant okay in case of amplitude modulation amplitude and frequency is varied with respect to the phase giving constant value okay whereas phase shift key that is psk it varies the phase and frequency and amplitude is constant okay but in case of ask amplitude is varying and frequency and phase are constant 
In PSK, phase is varying and frequency and amplitude are constant. In FSK, frequency is getting varied, amplitude and phase remains constant. Okay. So these are the terms ASK, PSK and FSK which you need to be noting down. So please note it down. Now we are having one more kind of term which is very important with respect to this module that is detection. Under detection we are having two categories one is coherent detection and non-coherent detection. Okay. What do you mean by coherent detection? For this detection we use carriers for both transmitter as well as receiver. So whatever the carrier signal what you have defined just now that carrier signal for a particular uh, signal representation we use it in transmitter, transmitter end as well as re receiver end. Okay, transmitter end we are going to be using before passing the input signal and in the receiver end after getting the output signal we are going to be giving the uh, coherent signal. Okay, so that's why this is called as coherent detection. It is the process where the carrier signal should be synchronized in sense should be same in frequency and phase. In order to be obtaining the synchronization between the phase and frequency that's why we are using this coherent detection in the transmitter and receiver end. Okay. So this is all about coherent. Next is non-coherent. For this detection, we use noiseless channel. The carrier need not be synchronized, meaning that the frequency and phase of the signal can be different. Okay. But detection in case of non-coherent also, it happens in both transmitter and the receiver end. But in this detection, the phase and frequency, if it may be varying or may not be varying, we cannot be predicting that. Okay. So that's, that's the main difference between coherent and non-coherent detection okay so yeah that's all for this video guys i had just wanted to start with the introduction of this module where we have discussed with what do you mean by message signal carrier signal and the output signal and uh, some of the important parameters which you need to be knowing before starting this module that is band pass filters ask that is amplitude shift key psk phase shift key fsk frequency shift key and in the detection we are having two categories one is coherent detection and non-coherent detection okay so please uh, this uh, introduction part these are uh, simple definitions you please note it down before going to this module because these things are used in the upcoming topics which we are going to be studying okay so note it down guys that's all for this video we'll see you in the next video with some other concepts thank you